ever wondered how to get an easy FTP server on in Windows by installing FileZilla and surprise to so watch the videos and learn how? So this is my 100 video, so you, you also came to the video before FileZilla, but also this is surprisingly coincidentally my 100 video. So thank you for all my subscribers, and uh, my channel is a year old, and I actually have a lot of videos on it, and a lot of content from, from different subjects, uh, like, mm, well, like, math, then, technology, and then, computers. And then science. So did all these four subjects, and uh, maybe science is scientifically, all these four subjects are making to make this channel. So I put a little quality for this video. So uh, yeah. So uh, so so we go to the, the first download FileZilla. So go to FileZilla-project.org, and then just download. Do not download the blowware version. Just download the. Go to the additional downloads and just download again. And download the normal version, and you will not get that much bl blowware. I mean, I have experience downloading, and I got a lot of blowware. So, just to know that you have to be very careful. <laughs> so now we're going to just put IUV. Next, next, and then we can choose same port and install. So it will install all of these, uh, all of these things, and then it will just keep it everything default to the administration password. And also, we're going to do is connect to the server. And I, I, I mean, see that's it. So it's actually connected. So next thing is to actually go into the control panel and and just change settings. So we're going to just uh, go, uh, go to Windows this firewall. I just typed that in and it came out. Uh, we're going to uh, allow another app. Uh, so we're going to uh, allow. Um, so I already have an FTP server on this system, but I'm going to allow Fazza for this video. So the first thing is to just. Uh, just go into the okay. I actually did a mistake here. So go into the program files uh, times 86 and 64 bit, or just go to program files and 32 bit and download the uh, just put the files to the server and then press add. And so this will add the files to the server and also just to have a kind of do public so that you have the, the most chance of it working. Then do the, go into your uh, just go into CMD and then do the IP config. And you find your IP address, which is in this case 192.168.1.89. Now we have to go into edit users, and then we're going to have to add a user. And this is I will call this user. Uh, I will call this user Krishnas, and then press OK. Then I will add a password, and, uh, and then go ahead into shared folders, and then add a FileZilla. Uh, I create a folder on my desktop, and then I will give him all the web rights uh, to actually use this folder. So in this case, this is the folder, and if I put anything into it, all of the people can access to it. So now it was time to check the server. So we're going to do FTP core four slash four slash one two the one six eight the one eight nine. So this will connect to the server, and it and it will just take a while to connect to the firefox. It is actually much more faster in Google Chrome to put username and password. It, it, if it doesn't it, it apply if you have capital letters or not, it's going to work no matter what because this is Windows. And this is the FileZilla server that we have. Uh, now, if you it, 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 on my Mac, I actually if I do, do the same thing, uh, I go into this time. I go into FTP colon four star four star one two the one six eight the one eight nine. Then put in my username and password again. It will be the, the same thing, but this time on a different computer since we added the uh, firewall. So now we're going to do, do, do this the same thing in the FileZilla program to actually connect to other FileZilla folder. I mean. Uh, servers and then it just put, put your IP address, username, and password important. This is case 21. And then it just uh, just actually, this is an empty device. And you had to just put some stuff in it so to actually make it more interesting. So in the partner, I found uh, something. Uh, I found a video. And then I just go and drag and drop the video into the into the, the into FileZilla. And then we'll go into the the uh, folder. So in this case, I'm just connecting to my computer so that I uh, just. Show you, but the screen capture wasn't working. I, I, OBS is not working for me right now, so I'm just. Uh, so I actually, right now, I'm playing with that video, and as you can see, it's actually working correctly. You no know, corrupt files and anything, so it works perfectly. But what if I want to put some footage on my video? So in this case, this is a, not a scientifically episode. Um, this is like the anniversary, so. Um, 
Anyway, I could just get a notification, so but I actually do my own videos. So I go right click and then copy and then paste the video into the um, um, files little folder. And let's see what happens. So this is going to copy quite fast. It is not exactly that much fast, it's just sped up. Speed up. <laughs> okay. And then just go into FileZilla again. Then reconnect into your IP address. And, and then I want to download this file. So we're going to just go into point point twenty one. And then it's, it's seeing a lot of errors, but it's okay. Just press my click download. Oh, uh, and you have to download, and you, and you can even change the user. Uh, you can change the local your uh, folder that you need to download the file in. Also, so uh, yeah. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, check out my last video. Uh, and share this with we with, with, with other friends on the internet. Check me out at Twitter at Christian Match. So thank you for watching this video. Bye.